Here in Oxfordshire, major things are changing to public transport, such as the Cotswold Line being given the go-ahead and HSC being given the green light, with Stage 1 set to open by 2031. But in the small villages and more rural areas, things are still dire. It's basically a bus or nothing. There's no trains, and even then the buses are really irregular. You've got the A40, which is awful. There's always traffic. There's traffic at like the mini roundabout. You could be there at 3 in the morning on a Tuesday and there's traffic. So, yeah, not good. Even if the town is well connected, like here in Whitney, the local roads make an arduous trip at peak hours. Here at the entrance roundabout on the A40, when traffic backs up all the way to the Cassington Lights nearly two kilometres behind me, that trip alone can take over 40 minutes. Take into account the time it takes to get out of Oxford and you're looking at an hour and a half long commute. I spoke to Robert Courts, Conservative MP for Oxford West and Whitney, to see what he plans to do for public transport in his constituency. People will always say the A40 is one of the biggest issues in West Oxford, and that's undoubtedly right, because mm. the uh, the congestion of the eastern end is, is awful for anyone true, yeah. who's had to use it. Um, that's clearly massive. It's a break on, uh, on business, on economic success. It's obviously a massive waste of people's time. So I'd like to see Hanborough become a transport hub for West Oxfordshire, so you've got buses yeah. coming in from Ensham, from Whitney, from the surrounding um, villages, um, so that we're really making some use of that as well. They need serious investment, and what that means is less cars on the road, less buses on the road, trains. Uh, you've also got all of the villages, and that's where we've got to start looking um, at uh, a bus provision as well, and there's lots of different ways of doing this. Mm -hmm. um, firstly, as I've just said, the government is going to be introducing a vast amount of more uh, money going into services across the country. I can't get into the detail yet how that's going to work, because it's literally announced yesterday. <laughs> um, but, um, uh, that will be rolling out over the course of the next uh, weeks uh, and months. So we need to understand exactly what the need is for people. In Parliament, Robert Court stated, The A40 is one of the main trunk roads of this country and the main trunk road that travels through my constituency. Congestion is a particular concern between Whitney and Oxford. He went on to say, between 23,000 and 32,000 vehicles currently use the section between Whitney and Oxford each day, which is well above the road's capacity. During school term times, the average journey speed on the A40 between Cassington and Wolvercut at peak times is 17 miles an hour, whilst on the worst days it can be as low as 10 miles an hour. When I spoke to him, he said that one of the projects he is working on is widening the busiest stretch of the A40 to two lanes and putting a permanent bus lane on going in each direction. He also stated that he would like to open a park and ride near the village of Ensham to further ease congestion, also to open for cycle paths. Unfortunately, locals have said they will fight to keep their countryside's views clean and keep the diggers away. Oxfordshire County Council has said they have a budget of £180 million for the project. Earlier this week, Boris Johnson's government pledged £5 billion to invest in public transport infrastructure over the next four years. If this money is put forward in the future of the A40 and public transport in West Oxfordshire, it may be looking more encouraging going forward for commuters. But will proposed infrastructure such as the Cotswold Line and the extension to the A40 go ahead, or will commuters be continually frustrated with journey times in Oxford? I am Marin Daly for AWC News.